David Graff from Animal Care Hospital joins us now. Dr. Graff, thanks for being here. Happy to be here today, Jackie. Yeah, and we're talking about pets over the holidays. Yes, we are. I want to talk about the seven things to do to try to keep your pets safe for the holidays. And number one, too much people food could be bad because yeah. dogs, they don't eat a little, they eat a lot. When, <laughs> when, when they eat, they go for it. They do not have a full sensor. Right. So, so, and I've had reports of, of people calling and saying, my dog ate the whole ham. <laughs> so, so keep the people food away from the pets, number one. Number two, make sure your pet doesn't have access to any toxic food like chocolate, mm -hmm. artificial sweetener, xylitol is toxic to dogs. Like in the gum, yeah. Yep, uh -huh. Right, that's in gum. Grapes and raisins can be toxic and onions, so keep them away from that. Number three, don't leave your pet alone in a room with lit candles, a decorated tree, or porpourri. I can't yeah. say that word. Porpourri. Potpourri. Potpourri. Yeah. That's uh -huh. it. it. Smells Cause, nice. Cause Hard the, to say. A dog will eat it. So. Yeah, and the wagging tail can be a fire danger. And the danger. wagging tail can <laughs> definitely be a fire danger with lit candles. Um, number four, keep holiday plants away from your pet, especially um, mistletoe, holly, lilies. Those are toxic. So keep those away from your pet. Okay. Number five, if you have a cat, consider leaving the tinsel and the icicles off the tree. Yeah, cats and Christmas Be, trees, yeah, not good. <laughs> cats don't, they, they will eat them and mm -hmm. that, that can cause a linear foreign body and need surgery. Bad so, problem. So no, no icicles or tinsel if you have a kitty. Um, secure your tree if you have a cat or a dog. It, it's a good idea to secure the tree. I talked to a client this morning, she's got her tree wired to the wall <laughs> and, and you can't even tell because- Not the, tearing the, it down. And, yeah. and so if, if the cat decides to jump on the tree, the, the tree will be pr protected from falling over. Mm -hmm. And another trick, you can get a lemon scented car freshener, air freshener, mm -hmm. and you can hang uh, one on a tree. That keeps them away. And cats don't like that smell. Okay. So that's that's an idea. Easier you, than stapling it to your wall. If you don't <laughs> mind your tree smelling like lemon. So, um, and that's number six. And number seven, if you have a party, provide a safe place for your pet to get away, mm -hmm. like a hiding place or a kennel or a perch, or even keep them in a separate room and give them some toys, a litter box, a bed um, mm -hmm. in a separate room if you have company. It so. can be overwhelming for an animal. That's right. That's yeah, right. Especially with all those people giving the snacks to the dog. <laughs> exactly, exactly right. Yeah, and going so. in and out of the house too, that can be an escape route. That can be an escape route, right. All right, so. Dr. Graff, thanks for joining us here today. Happy to be here. And Merry stay, Christmas. Yes, Merry Christmas. And stay with TV9. We'll be right back.